Yeah, good morning. It's morning. I haven't done my do yet. Uh, I guess I need a little bit of a haircut, don't I? But that's not the point of this video. Okay? Uh, one of the things I've said before, the difference between comedy and tragedy is comedy when it's happening to somebody else. I mean, you kind of look at somebody who's gone through something, you get laughing. At least I do. But it's not too tragic. Uh, but uh, a few years ago, a friend of mine, uh, Chance, was, and that's his name, uh, was diagnosed with a real insidious, slow-growing cancer, and he went to UCLA where they treated this cancer. And uh, he came from a chiropractic family, and the medical doctor told him that he would follow his protocol and only his protocol uh, because he couldn't guarantee success uh, if he didn't. Uh, so Chance agreed to that, and Chance is dead now. Uh, so I don't know what the protocol was designed to do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not funny, but to me it's funny. But uh, <clears throat> Chance was coming through. He was coming through uh, Texas. He lived in Texas. He was coming from UCLA, coming through uh, the Intercontinental Airport at uh, in Houston, uh, which is where I lived. And he had a couple of hours, and so we met up. And uh, he had a hole in his hip from the in his sacrum from the cancer and part of his bone was missing in his arm and he was, he was moving into his neck so he, he came in and he had a neck brace he was walking with a limp and he had a sling in his arm and uh, he was walking towards me and, and it, he looked funny <laughs> sorry <clears throat> and uh, he got over to me and I was laughing fairly fully and he walked up to me and he looked at me and Chance was I don't know maybe six foot maybe not quite he looked at me and said are you laughing at me I said, well, brother, you look pretty <laughs> comical. I said, are you like this? And your head's like this? And you walk with a limp? I said, you know, it, it, you, the character you're being right now, it's it's pretty entertaining for me. <laughs> and he stared at me for a few minutes. And I thought he was going to get mad and walk away, which is one of the risks you take when you enjoy people, when you see them as perfect, when you see what they're going through as their personal uh, journey. But you know that there's some perfection in it. And I thought, well, he's going to walk away. And he stopped, and he looked at me for one, and he said, you know, I guess I'm going to have enough people taking this seriously and getting sad around me, aren't I? And I said, it looks like a chance. Look like you're in a life period that people are going to take pretty seriously, and you know, they're going to be caring and concerned. And I said, all right, if we can just enjoy one another for the next hour. And he started laughing. He said, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, it's not a personal event. Whatever you're going through, you still exist within perfection. Um, if you are watching this video, uh, look around where you are. Uh, look at the colors. Look at the size of the space that you're in. Get a sense of your body, of who you are right now. And uh, know that this is the only moment that's relevant. Uh, any other moment when that little voice starts to come in is a manufactured voice, a manufactured world. It has nothing really to do with you, but it will keep you captivated if you let it. Have a fun day. Enjoy that little voice. It's the only thing you can do sometimes. www.micpeakperformance.com <laughs>